It was during the term of the former government. A 480 million US dollar MCC grant was proposed for improvement of land administration process and a special transport service modernization program. During the run-up to the presidential election, the MCC was a hot topic and President Gotabe Rajapaksa during his election campaign in a letter to Venerable Ududumbere Kassapatera who staged a fast said all agreements signed by the then government will be reconsidered. Today, Foreign Minister Dinesh Gunavardana confirmed the agreement is being reviewed. The President has clearly mentioned all agreements will be reconsidered and will be implemented in a manner which causes no harm to the country. This is not the only agreement. There are many others. We are working on them. There is no reason to panic. The US Embassy says MCC understands the government needs time to review the draft agreement and MCC is ready to discuss the agreement with the government and address any questions once they've had the opportunity to do so. However, several members of the present government maintained a strong position regarding the MCC. The Millennium Our government does not hope to sign the Millennium Challenge Corporation under any circumstance. We have already succeeded in that issue. American Americans know that they can't play games with Gota Bear, so the ministers got together and approved the MCC agreement last Tuesday, which allows America to rob 12% of Sri Lankan land. What we have to tell America is that this government is nothing but a corpse. Only 14 days are left. Stop discussing matters with a corpse and start discussing with us, the future government. But following the elections, his stance seems to have toned down. 70% of grants are allocated for the transportation project. Only 30% is allocated for the land reforms. Therefore, we are of the stance that we have no objection to the transportation project. We are not hypocrites or stupid to oppose everything that comes from America. We request the government to refrain from engaging in such cheap and third-class lies. No one has seen the MCC agreement. We urge them not to sign the MCC and to withdraw from foreign agreements that have already been signed, such as the AXA agreement. Uday Gamampila, who said he will dump the MCC compact in the dustbin, now says all actions of the USA are not detrimental. He now says all agreements cannot be dumped into the garbage and they must be utilised. That is how it all starts. It's been three weeks so far. After this government came into power, they toppled everything. In a few more days, chances are high that the MCC will go up to 90, 95 or 100 percent. We also question the government as to whether they will sign the compact. We would also like to question the government, will you give up on the relationship we have with other countries within the US? Or will you go forward while strengthening these relationships? Langi ke sam sambandhagang palzukarming gamana kano the kinatahan anakamati.